Staten Island and other uh, communities, they are going to, everyone is going to see asylum seekers. So all the calls that I'm getting from elected officials, all the calls that I'm hearing from people of saying, you know, um, please not here, uh, that is just can't happen. This is a citywide crisis, and all of us are going to be impacted. Yeah, because people in Staten Island are upset because uh, apparently they're putting the migrants in schools in Staten Island. New York City schools are all struggling uh, to cope with the 5,500 migrant children enrolled in local schools. Joining us right now is National Border Patrol Council President Brandon Judd. Brandon, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks so much. Uh, New York City is getting a little taste of what you've seen for the past year and a half. Assess the border for us right now, Brandon. Yeah, they're, they're getting a very little taste yeah. of what's actually going on on the border. I mean, when you look at this month alone, um, the numbers are absolutely astronomical. And so what he's seeing um, is, is very small to, compared to what Texas has had to deal with, what Arizona has had to deal with. Um, this is something that we're all dealing with. Um, and what I wish that he would do, rather than asking the federal government for money, rather than, than politicizing this issue, he should be uh, putting pressure on the White House to actually um, secure the border, to actually put a, a stop to what's currently going on, and then his taxpayers wouldn't be on the hook. But he wants those federal dollars, um, and that's why he continues to make this a, a big issue. But, but Maria, I'm very grateful that he is, yeah. because he is unwittingly becoming the voice of border security. When he talks, the mainstream media covers it. And when the mainstream media covers it, then, then um, uh, the American people want to know what's actually going on, and they're going to go to the honest media sources um, to get an actual realization of what's happening on the border. And so, so again, every time he opens his mouth, it's good for border security because he is becoming that voice. He doesn't want to be, but he is becoming that voice. And that, and that was the intention of Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, wanting New York and other cities to understand what's really going on here. On a practical level, I want to get to the drugs in a second, but let's talk about the human smuggling, because I know that these border agents, these uh, cartels, these dangerous drug cartels are taking home $200 million a week, $300 million a week. It's a huge business, just smuggling uh, people in. Talk to us a little about who's coming in. I know that there were, what, 80 people on terrorist watch lists who have already been apprehended. Yep. We don't know about the gotaways. Yeah, that, and that's the scary aspect of border security, not just the fentanyl, not just the, um, the dangerous drugs, um, but those individuals that are coming from countries that want to do us harm. We're seeing that day in and day out for Iranians the other day. Um, we're seeing uh, people from countries that do not like the United States, and we don't know who those people are. We don't know what their intentions are. We don't know what they're ultimately going to do here in the United States, um, given the time uh, to create those acts of terror that, that they could be uh, ultimately planning. So again, that's the that's the scary aspect, and we've got to get this under control. If we don't get this under control, we are going to fill um, uh, the the problems that are, that are going to be coming down in in the future. Yeah, I want to also now talk about the drugs because Arizona Border Patrol agents discovered a new version of the rainbow fentanyl pills that have never been encountered before. This is a whole new pill that they've seized. The CBP officer seized a total of 413,000 fentanyl pills at the Nogales. Uh, port of entry. That includes 44,000, which had this rainbow coloring brand. In. What can you tell us? Oh, and, and that, that's the tip of the iceberg. That's just what, what we actually seized. Um, there's an awful lot more getting through. All you have to do is talk to any police officer on the street, um, any sheriff's department, and they will tell you that there is more product on the street today than ever before. There's wow. more overdoses. Um, we're seeing that day in and day out. Um, if we don't, uh, again, if we don't get this issue under control, and it all starts with illegal immigration, that's where the cartels, that's where they pull us out of the field. Just yesterday in the state of Arizona, we had a bare bones crew patrolling um, 275 miles uh, of border. That was that was border that the cartels were free to operate in. Um, and again, we, we go back to illegal immigration. If we don't get this under control, this crisis is going to continue. Dangerous people from dangerous countries, um, the drugs that are coming in, we are going to continue to see mass chaos, mass, mass deaths in the United States if this administration doesn't step to the plate and stop pandering to the far left base. Yeah, we went to the crime 
Crimes Lab, and I'm there with Christopher Olivares in this video that we're showing right now, and he's showing me the rainbow pills that, that were discovered. Brandon, I don't understand what the point is here. I mean, uh, look, let's be clear. This is not an overdose. This is a poisoning. This is the poisoning of American yes. citizens. That's what we're seeing. But what's the point of these cartels and, and, and the underlying chemicals made in China? They're just trying to kill off Americans? Why are they dropping all of this fentanyl? Uh, another border agent told me the other day that they're using drones, that they've got drones that they have delivering fentanyl. They drop it in different places in Texas, then they go get it later. Yeah. Yes, that, that's absolutely correct. I mean, they're, they're very sophisticated. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly how to get the products across. But if it wasn't for our policies, they wouldn't be able to get the, all of these products across. What they do is they look at the ebbs and flows of the political winds here in the United States. They also look at our policies, and they're going to operate within our policies, and they're going to exploit those policies. If we would, if this administration would put the proper policies in place, we would then be able to go after the cartels. We would be, we would be able to um, save American lives. But yes, they they are going after us. Um, they're, they're monsters. They're advertising to children now, not, not to adults. Ugh. They're going to children. They're constantly trying to expand their businesses, and that's how they make the billions of dollars that they're currently Unbelievable. making. Unbelievable. Brandon, thanks very much for your leadership on this. I know you have a tough job. We appreciate you joining us this morning and all that you're doing. Brandon Judd.